I want to show you some more tricks in Desmos. So I've got Desmos open along with my um, annuity formulas. Desmos normally opens like this, but I can go ahead and just select the outer edge here and then increase the size of my calculation boxes. I'm going to start with an example. So let's say that we've got $300 payments and we're going to do a future value of the annuity. So I'm going to use that formula for number four. So $300 payments and then parentheses. Normally I would put parentheses in the numerator too, but I want to show you how to get around that. I'm just going to start typing the numerator. One plus, let's say that our interest rate is 8%. So I'm going to do 0 0.08 and we're doing monthly payments. So divided by 12. I'm going to close that parenthesis and then take that to the nth power. So the nth, let's do 12, um, 12 payments over four years. So that would be 12 times four. And before I type in that negative one or the minus one, I'm going to do my divided by, and then it gives me this numerator. I can just arrow up there and continue to work in my numerator and put the minus one up there. So that saves me at least one set of parentheses. And then in my denominator, I want to do that periodic interest 0 0.08 divided by 12 again. So I end up with this as my answer. It's still a little bit of a pain, and I was able to avoid rounding by doing my calculations within the formula, specifically the periodic interest of 0 0.08 divided by 12, but there is an easier way in Desmos. I can put the formula in here with the variables. So for payment, I'm gonna, I'm retyping the future value formula. I'm just gonna use P. Unfortunately, Desmos doesn't let you use more than one letter for a variable. So I'm just gonna stick with a P here. And then parentheses, I'm gonna start with my numerator, one plus, one plus I, and I wanna raise that to the nth power. So caret on the six to the nth power. And I'm gonna put in my divided by here to get that fraction. And then I'm just gonna continue working in the fraction. Oops, there we go, um, minus one. And then my denominator is I. So I've just set this formula up with the variables inside of it. And it says, do you wanna add sliders for these variables? And I'm gonna click all. And now it gives me the option. I'm not actually gonna use the sliders cause that's really inefficient. So instead I'm gonna type over the value in each of these sliders. So if I go back up to that initial example, we had $300 payments. My periodic interest, I can do the calculation right here, is 0 0.08 divided by 12. N is, we were doing this monthly, and what did I do that for? Four years. So monthly payments times four years. So times four years, and it gives me that 48 there. If I arrow up, I get the same exact answer. Not only do I get the same exact answer, but I can also change these values as I'm going through some additional examples. This is the future value formula. Let's go ahead and redo this for the present value formula. I'm gonna go ahead and delete what I've got here so far. And I'm gonna just start over, just so I've got a clean slate here in Desmos. I'm gonna do the very same thing with the present value formula. So P parentheses, I'm gonna start that numerator, but it immediately hit the divided by, so I get the numerator that I can keep working in minus one divided by parentheses, one plus i, close that parentheses, carry it on the six to the nth power, and then in my denominator, I've got i. Okay, it says, do you wanna add these sliders? And again, I select, yes, add all of those. So now I can go ahead and do some present value calculations. Let's say I have $500 payments, my periodic interest rate, let's do 4.5%, so 0 0.045. And this time, let's say instead of monthly payments, we're doing those payments quarterly. So we'll do it divided by four. And let's do quarterly payments for 10 years. So four payments a year times 10 years. And it gives me, just by plugging in the values for payment, periodic interest, and total number of payments, it gives me that present value for the annuity. So a really great way to utilize Desmos so that these formulas are easier and that you're also getting the right answer each time because you're not doing any intermediate rounding.